Hello and thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Bytes training session. In this training session video we will review how to create an item that has been created in item maintenance and create a button for it on a submenu panel so it can be rung in on a front of host terminal from a bartender or a server. What you're going to do is log into Aloha Manager and then you're going to want to go to Maintenance, Menu, Submenus. From here, the system's automatically going to default to the first submenu that you have created in your database. To see a list of all submenus, you hit the arrow located next to the drop down. You're going to want to go ahead and find the appropriate submenu that you need to create your button for. In this instance, in our last video, we created a chicken Caesar item. So we're going to want to put this on the salad submenu. After we've selected our salad submenu, we're going to want to hit our layout tab to see the physical picture of how that submenu appears on our front of house terminal. You can see here these are the items that are currently assigned to this submenu and show up on the front of house terminals and are accessible by staff to punch in. To take our new chicken Caesar item that we've created and put it on this to create a button, we can just left click on empty, any empty square. On the right hand side you're going to want to make sure you have the type set to an item button. Hit your drop down to find your item. You can start typing in your item name, and the system will automatically filter out anything that has the word that you're typing in there that make it easier for you to find your item that you created. Here's our chicken Caesar we created at 1080. We're going to select that. We've assigned an item level price to that chicken Caesar in the previous video, so it's automatically going to default to item price. You can see here it's grayed out as 250 because we can't actually change that price here. That price has changed on the item itself. We can go ahead and hit save on that. Now what you're going to want to do is in order to get this to show up on the front of host terminals, you're going to have to do a refresh data, which is found under utilities, POS, and refresh POS and all data. You have two options to prompt before restarting the point of sale terminals or automatically restart POS terminals. After you pick that option, you hit OK, and that's going to send that information to the front of host terminals. The terminals are going to reload their Aloha software, and when they come back up, that new button that you've put on the submenu is now going to display there. If you need to move around items on the submenu, you can simply just left click on the appropriate item and drag it to a new spot that you need it to be on that actual submenu. If you need to move it to a second page, you can right click on an item and hit cut, hit your page down button and right click and hit paste. And that's gonna paste it on the second page. We can do that to move it back as well. Also, if you need to delete an item or a button per se, you can just right click on a button and hit cut or delete. And that will delete that physical item from the submenu. Now, be reminded that since you're deleting the actual item from the submenu, that button will no longer show up on the front of host terminal, so the staff will not be able to ring that item in again. The item still resides in your database as item maintenance and is still using up a number. It's just the button has been taken off the submenu, so staff can't ring it in anymore. Also, when we created our price here, you can see that we did associate an item price because this particular example, we're using item level pricing. But if your system's been set up or you've been used to using button level pricing, you can change this to button price. And you can go ahead and manually type in your price pre-tax and go ahead and hit save. That is basically taking an item that you've created in item maintenance, assigning it to a submenu panel, and then pushing through a refresh to send that information to the terminal so the staff is able to ring in that item now. Thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Bites video session, and I hope this was helpful.